In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I build internal links, which are really good for SEO. In fact, there's something that people often forget about when it comes to SEO. A lot of people focus on their page titles and their header tags and sitemaps and that kind of stuff, and they forget about their internal links. But internal links are really powerful. They help Google and the other search engines uh, crawl through your site uh, and discover all the bits of content that you've published. So the site that I'm gonna be working on in this video is of course, bestroofbox.com, which is one of my Amazon affiliate websites. I've been sharing everything that I do on a site with you guys here on YouTube. And in fact, I've put all those videos in one handy playlist. So uh, if you've missed any, or if you just wanna catch up, you'll find them all in that playlist or in the playlist that's linked to in the description below this video. Do go check them out if you haven't done so already. So on bestroofbox.com, I've got two different types of articles. I've got beginner's guides and buyer's guides. The buyer's guides tend to be very car focused. So for example, the best roof box for a VW Golf or the best roof box for a BMW 3 Series. And yeah, I've got lots of articles because there's lots of different cars, uh, but they're all very similar. And um, yeah, they just talk about specific cars and recommend um, roof boxes that will fit those cars. The other types of articles that I've got are beginner's guides and they're more general, more informational. So they're things like the best roof boxes for um, golf clubs, the best roof boxes for um, camping equipment and, and other things like, you know, how to stay awake when you're driving, how to pack a roof box, how to clean a roof box. Yeah, loads of uh, great information on roof boxes. So what I wanna do is I wanna link those two sorts of articles together. Uh, generally, I wanna link the car specific articles through to the informational articles because within the car articles, um, they often mention things like, you know, this roof box will be great for your camping equipment or this roof box will be great for your fishing rods. And, you know, when camping or fishing or you know, whatever is mentioned, that's where I want that internal link to appear. Um, I want it to link through to the beginner's guide on, you know, the best roof box for fishing rods. Now to do this manually is quite a big job because basically you have to go for every single post, I have to find the keywords that are relevant like fishing and camping and fuel consumption or whatever else it is that I wanna to link to. Uh, and then I have to go and edit the post and add the internal link. And seeing as the site's up to around 160 or so posts, that's gonna be quite a big job. Luckily, I've got a tool to help me that's gonna streamline the entire process. That tool is called Link Whisper and it's a premium plugin that's available for WordPress. Link Whisper can do a few different things, but there's one part of Link Whisper that I really like, and that is the auto-linking feature. And basically what you can do is you can stick in a keyword and you can stick in a link and then Link Whisper will go through all of your content and wherever that keyword is, it will insert a link. Link Whisper is a premium plugin. I'll put a link up in a card now and also in the description. If you use that link, really appreciate it. I will earn a commission. And yeah, thank you very much. If you use any of my affiliate links, it really does help me out. I'll be going into a bit more detail on the pricing of Link Whisper and all that stuff as we get started with it. And yeah, I think we should get started. I think that's enough intro. Just one very quick thing. If you're not already subscribed, why not do so right now? Just click that subscribe button. And if you enjoy this video, if it helps you out, please click the like button. Anyway, let's go. So Link Whisper, here it is. This is their website. You can find a link in the description to this video. It's an affiliate link. Um, so I will earn a small commission if you click through and buy Link Whisper. Really appreciate it if you use my affiliate links for anything. Um, I often post affiliate links, but of course I only recommend products and services that I use myself. I just wanted to quickly show you how much it costs. Uh, let's have a look at the pricing plans. Here we go. For a single site, it's $77, which does sound a little expensive for a plugin. However, it does save you a ton of time. It makes the whole um, internal link building process a lot quicker and a lot easier. And as I've already mentioned, internal links are a really powerful part of your SEO, often overlooked. And to do it manually is very time consuming. So I guess you just gotta think, how much is my time worth? How long would it take if I did it manually? And you know, once you've got the answer to that, I think that you'll probably find that the $77 is money well spent. Anyway, let's close this down. Here is uh, bestroofbox.com, which is, of course, my Amazon affiliate website that I've been working on for ooh, quite a while now, about a year and a half, maybe a bit longer. And of course, I've been documenting everything that I've been doing on the site on this YouTube channel. 
So what I wanna use Link Whisper for is to um, build my internal links to these articles, which are part of my beginner's guide category. They're on kind of more general things um, to do with roof boxes. They're not, you know, car specific guides. They're about, you know, things like this. Should you travel with an empty roof box on your daily commute? How long does it take to fit a roof box? And all these kind of subjects, very useful subjects, even if I do say so myself. Now within some of the car guides, like these ones, let's have a look. I mention things that are relevant to those articles, to the uh, the beginner's guides. So let's have a quick look here. So here we go, look, this is uh, an article on the BMW 4 Series. And I can see in this paragraph here that we are talking about things like camping gear and golf clubs. Um, and I have articles on um, the best um, roof box for camping gear and the best roof boxes for golf clubs. So it'd be good to link through to those articles uh, from these keywords. Now, of course, I could go through every single article on my site and find them and add the links manually. But you know, I haven't got time for that. <laughs> That's where Link Whisper comes in. Now my site's not particularly large. I think I'm up to about 160 odd articles now, which is sizable. I mean, it, that would take a long time to go through, but you know, for even larger sites, that would just be completely uh, impractical to you know do it manually. So let me show you um, Link Whisper. Now, Link Whisper is made up of two parts. One part that I really love, and the other part that I don't think is that great. Um, let me show you the bit that I don't think is that great, um, because we're not gonna be using that, but I, I think you should know uh, if you're gonna be investing in the plugin. You need to know exactly what it does. So if we go into edit post, fortunately it doesn't work very well with Elementor. If we go into Gutenberg and scroll down. So here we are, we've got the Link Whisper suggested links panel. And basically what it's got here is some recommendations for internal links um, that I could add to this post. Now the problem with it is I don't think the recommendations are that good. Now this could just be because of the way that my content is written or, or uh, the fact that I've got a lot of content that's very similar. Um, you know, I can understand the principle that, you know, if you mention something and you have an article on that thing, then yeah, it would be handy for, for that to be flagged up. But for example, if we look at this, this top one, it says, it's found this sentence here. Luckily it's possible to mount a roof rack on your BMW and install a roof box because you know this article is about the BMW 4 Series. And it's suggesting that I link to the BMW 5 series because of course it's it's spotted BMW here and then it's seen that this is a BMW article and you know, I, I get it, I get what it's trying to do, but you know, that's just not a relevant link and I don't wanna link from the four series article to the five series article. And here, look, another sentence, we have picked out four roof boxes that we believe are the best fits for your BMW 4 series, which is, you know, that's fine. It doesn't need an internal link, but it's it's obviously spotted this word here, picked, and now it's gonna link to the Honda Civic one. Yeah, which again, I don't wanna do. I don't wanna link the BMW 4 Series article to the Honda Civic article. And again, it's got confused there with that BMW. Uh, you know, this is the bit about roof bars, and then it wants to link to the central one. Keep your valuables safe if it wants to link through to how to store. You know, they're just not on. I think I do actually have an article about roof box security, which would be a better fit, but uh, alas, that's not the one it's recommended. And yeah, basically, I don't like any of these. They're all like not relevant. You know, it's trying its best, but yeah, they, yeah they're, not, they're not right. So I'm not gonna be using that bit of um, linguist, but it may work well for you. I guess maybe it depends on the content. It's just the fact that I've maybe got too many articles around roof boxes and they're all quite similar. That's what's kind of thrown it. So yeah, that's that feature. Let's uh, move on to the bit that I do like. Where are you? Down here, Link Whisper. It's this bit here, it's called auto linking. Basically what it allows you to do is add a keyword and then it will automatically add a link um, to that keyword. So it gives you a lot more control. And it also allows you to add links very, very quickly. So what I've done is I've got a little list here, look. I've been through uh, Best Roof Box, I've been through the beginner's guides and I picked out a few articles and a few keywords that I think are, um, are mentioned quite a lot um, 
in the content on my site. So camping gear, camping trips, fishing rods, fishing trips, camping, suitcases, snowboard skis, and fuel consumption. Now, when I'm adding these links, I don't wanna add um, the same link multiple times to one post. So, you know, if an article mentions camping two or three times, I don't wanna link um, to the camping article two or three times, I just wanna link once. Um, I just think that's a better way to do it for visitors and for Google. Now, luckily, uh, Link Whisper has an option um, in here. So, you can only add um, the link once per post. And if um, the post already has that link, it won't add it. So, yeah, that's perfect. We should end up with just one link um, per keyword. So, let's add a few. Let me show you how it works. So, let's start with camping gear. I'm gonna stick camping gear in there. Actually, I'm just gonna pop open another tab so that I can quickly grab the links that I need. So let's do a quick search for camping. I've got a couple of um, camping ones. I'm gonna go with this one, the Roofbox for Camping Equipment Guide. So I've got that URL in the clipboard. Paste that in. So now, whenever um, Link Whisper finds the words camping gear, it will add this link through to the camping post. So let's add that. And it should tell me how many links it's gonna add. Let's see. So I might need to just refresh. There we go. And it's added just the one link. That's fine. To the Chevrolet, 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 easy for me to say. Blazer Roofbox Buyers Guys, let's have a look. Mm, here we go. Where's that link? Hey, there we go, look. Camping gear, perfect. So it's worked. So let's add some more. I've got uh, camping trips. So I'm just gonna type it in. <laughs> Still got that link in the clipboard. I think all the options are the same. Yeah, let's add that one. There was one other camping here, just the word camping. There we go. So I just wanted to quickly show you, these are all the keywords that I've added. Fuel consumption, ski, snowboard, suitcases, basically all those ones on that list that I showed you a minute ago. And it's added quite a few lovely internal links. We've got three, we've got nine there. What's that, 50 something? There's loads, there's probably, what, nearly, 80 or 90 internal links that it's added. So um, yeah, and it only took me literally uh, five minutes to do that. So yeah, that's it, we're all done. That brings the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. And uh, yeah, I do recommend Link Whisper just for that auto linking feature. Really powerful, really useful, saves you a load of time. Remember, you'll find a link in the description. It's an affiliate link. Thanks very much. Let me know what you think about Link Whisper in the comments. I do read all the comments that I get and I'll try my best to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, you can do so by clicking on my face. Why not check out the vlog channel, click on my other face, and here, a couple more videos, they're chosen specially for you, so I hope you enjoy them. Until next time, bye for now.